Lisa Marie Presley's son and Elvis Presley's grandson, Benjamin Keough, has tragically died at the age of 27. According to a statement issued through Lisa Marie's manager, she is entirely heartbroken, inconsolable, and beyond devastated, but trying to stay strong for her 11-year-old twins and her oldest daughter, Riley. She adored that boy. He was the love of her life. According to TMZ, Benjamin died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound in Calabasas, California on July 12, 2020. Lisa Marie shared her late son with musician and ex-husband Danny Keough, who she was married to from 1988 until 1994. Benjamin's maternal grandmother is actress Priscilla Presley, and Benjamin's sister is actress Riley Keough. Lisa Marie Presley famously wed Michael Jackson just 20 days after finalizing her divorce from Danny. The two ended up calling it quits 15 months after saying, I do. Since her marriage to Jackson, Presley has been married to actor Nicolas Cage and guitarist Michael Lockwood, who she divorced in 2016, seen here next to Benjamin at a movie premiere. Presley shares twins Finley and Harper with Lockwood. According to Variety, Lisa Marie's only son kept a low profile and had a private Instagram, but he seemed to be extremely close to his mother. As reported by People, the duo got matching tattoos on Mother's Day in 2009. Tweeting about it in 2013, Presley wrote, It's a Celtic eternity knot that my son and I got together on Mother's Day a few years ago. Eternal love and connection. She posted about her son again on Twitter in 2015, captioning a photo of the two of them, Love of my life, one of the contents of my heart. Benjamin even inspired his mom musically. In 2012, she released the song Storm and Grace as an ode to her son, with Storm being Keo's middle name. That same year, Keo and his sisters made their way into a music video for Lisa Marie's take on Elvis's song, I Love You Because. She turned the song into a duet, singing alongside archival footage of her father. Lisa Marie told CMT, Every five years, I try to do something special for the fans as a tribute. I thought, okay, I really want to focus on the fact that I think his spirit lives in his grandchildren, very much. I thought it would be special for the fans to see that, to focus the attention on that, which made it intimate and sweet, because the song is like that. It felt really right. There were rumors that Benjamin had scored a whopping $5 million record deal with Universal Music, but the label quickly shot that down, calling the story, quote, totally untrue. The Daily Telegraph, however, did report in 2009 that Benjamin was indeed making music, and that the then 17-year-old had this to say about his sound. The music will be nothing like Elvis, nothing like him at all. Benjamin's mom, for her part, told The Talk in 2013 that she was mindful to not put any pressure on him to enter the industry. I mean, he loves music, but I really kind of don't want to, that's a lot to put on him, you know, so I'm trying to like, let him do his thing without pushing that on him so much. There's no denying a physical resemblance between the late Benjamin Keough and the King. In June 2019, Lisa Marie shared a photo of all four of her children to social media. The photo quickly went viral, with users pointing out the obvious physical similarities between Elvis Presley and his grandson Benjamin. Lisa Marie told CMT News in 2012, He does look like Elvis. He was at the Opry and was the quiet storm behind the stage. Everybody turned around and looked when he was over there. Everybody was grabbing him for a photo because it is just uncanny. Sometimes I am overwhelmed when I look at him. In a 2014 interview with Healthy Living magazine, Lisa Marie described her close relationship with her children, explaining, We all stay together. We are all very close. Wherever I am, they have their rooms and live with me. We all try to stay close as much as possible. I don't like it when they are far away in any way. If you or someone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. That's 1-800-273-8255.